Hey everyone, welcome back to The Long Dark. Um, we're here in Old Spence Family Homestead, starting episode 54. Um, if you remember from last episode, we had a bit of a cookout here. I guess you could call it, right? A little cookout. You're invited, by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you're already here. Um, but yeah, we downed a wolf, downed some deer. That was excellent. We really have a nice foothold in the door here in um, Forlorn Muskeg. So that's awesome. Uh, these are all small pieces, I believe. Yep. Awesome. Yep, here's our victim from last episode. Uh, kind of gave us a little scare. At least me, anyway. Um, we were, like, shooting him right, right from here, and it looked like he wanted to come in, but um, I don't think he is able to come in here anyway. Um, but, you know, you never really know with this game. <laughs> you really don't. You never know. Um, I just want to check and see if that deer out here is fully harvested. Because we did find out last episode that we cannot cure anything in... Uh, the uh, in the shed basically over there so we're gonna have to figure that out we're not gonna take i don't think anything that's curable so we're gonna leave the pelts and everything there is a cave up the way you can see the collapsed um shortwave tower over there we're gonna be going to that because we have to map it out and speaking of mapping things out we're gonna do this one very quickly awesome we'll slide that on oh, and we'll finish that first okay 14 minutes. See how long... Can't map in low visibility. Well, that makes sense, kind of. Okay. Just time to throw in some water, I suppose. We'll do this in the morning. Um, but yeah, we do want to go to bed soon. Looks like we're kind of on track to sleep through the night. We go to bed now. Yeah, that's right. I'll pass a little time there. And I'll just make a little water. I don't have any more... Yeah, no more uh, cans in the inventory. That's fine. We have a lot of water here. Probably going to leave it. But yeah, we we're, were here before, though. So last episode, we came in here. Everything was already looted out. So that's fine. Oh my gosh, that scared... I don't know why that scared me so bad. That must mean there's a wolf nearby, no? If he ran... Oh my gosh, if only you guys could feel my heart right now. Why did that scare me so badly? Are you kidding me? Oh. That gave me a heart attack and a half. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, uh, how about back in here? Next to two fires. Very nice. Wow. Every episode, I have that one event that wakes me up. That was my event right there that woke me up. Wow. I don't know. Anyway. Let's look in the inventory. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, we have a lot of things to prepare. No sense in passing time when I have this much to do. 11 till boiled, 29 till dry. Good. Uh, I'm going to do one more batch. The more we prepare these, the less weight it's going to take up in our inventory. So this is good. Good stuff. Alright, uh, that's an hour left. I'm going to go ahead and put... Yeah, let's do 42. 42 is good. Uh, whoops. Wouldn't let me press space for some reason. Uh, how would I... There we go. And then boil all that again. Should still finish in time. Um, I'm going to do probably... Yeah, let's do another batch. If this fire doesn't go out in this time, then we're getting a nice burn bonus. Yeah, we're getting a good burn bonus. Okay, cool. And then that's going to keep going. Excellent. Let's go ahead... And do some more. That'll complete our rose hips in our inventory. So that's great. I take some of this too. Because we're going to need it to map out. I don't think I can map out right now. No, I. Oh, you certainly cannot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, no. All right. Well, ton of food here. Excellent. It's just so great. We have a place we can kind of lean back and relax here in the musk egg. So that's cool. Uh, why don't we sleep? I probably... No, I can't, though. Because it's, it's going to be cold here, isn't it? It might be it might be a little cold. It might be a little cold here. I'm going to do one hour. And if we get cold, I'm just going to light the fire again. I, something in my mind tells me I should keep it going. Uh, I'm just not going to. We'll let it go. All right. 
Are we losing? No, not quite. 18 till boil dry. That almost went on us. All right. Do one more hour. When we wake up, we should find out if we're warm or not. I have a feeling we're not going to be. But we'll see. Could be a, a surprise. No. Wow, not warm at all. Um, yikes. That's going to require a fire for sure. I knew I shouldn't have let that fire go out. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Well, now, now, like, need to worry. There's no need to worry. We have plenty of food. Got a lot of firewood here. At least a decent amount. Too bad, though. That's kind of a waste of a... Of a match. Oh, we have so many torches that need... Kind of breaking down, don't we? Yeah, we do. Alright, all good. 35 matches. Oh, no problem. Let's get this going. Excellent. All right, time to just load it up. I'll put some coal. Oh, we have so much coal. What the heck? All right, I don't mind doing that much. All right, just trying to get, you know, a good amount. I think that's fine. I think we're going to be okay like this. Just wait until it stops, just so I know. Because I want to put in maybe four hours right now. Get a nice sleep going. Well, that, that's risky. Let's do two hours. We're not in a rush. Not trying to um, get back condition or anything. Alright. Looks peaceful outside. But it is the musk egg, so... Anything can go wrong. Three hours away. Yeah, if a blizzard did kick up, we would probably be in a little bit of trouble. But we have enough boxes in here to break down. So it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, oh, this is cool. Can I go ahead and get this done? Yes, I can. Perfect. Nice, look at that. Old Spence family homestead. Good. So now we have the shortwave tower, which is going to be... I think it's like over here. Or it might be just like over here. Somewhere far. Alright. Cool. Very nice. Part of me kind of wants to go try to sketch out... A shortwave tower. While I'm here. While we have the fire going. Uh, maybe. I may. Let me, first of all, let's kind of drop all the bad torches here. I think I, I probably will go ahead and take a torch with me. Uh, let's drop most of this. Still heavy. Why are we so heavy? It's going to be because of the coal. Yep. Yes, it is. Ten of those. And I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's light this torch up. And let's set sail. Should be okay. Got one deer over there. Just hanging around. That's fine. Not gonna touch that carcass again, I don't think. No need to. We got everything we wanted from it. Uh, also, we have to try to find where that cache is, that hidden cache. I remember from, uh, from last episode, we checked that. There might be more wolves up there. That was such a weird way that wolf came from um, earlier last episode. Came from up there. Not sure why. Not sure why or how. I didn't know they could spawn up there. The more you know, I suppose. This is a wolf spot, usually. It's a good hot spot up here. I wonder where they are this time. It looks like we got some clearing. Love to see that. I tell you, I mean, the muskeg has a special place in my in my heart, I think. The muskeg. It's a, it's a classic. It's a real classic. It's like Mystery Lake. It's basically Mystery Lake, except a little harder, I would say. Mystery Lake is probably, like, the easiest region. Maybe alongside Desolation Point. The musk egg is a little tough, but it's good. It's nice and rewarding once you, uh, once you learn it, you know? Kind of like every region. Uh, just in case there's wolves nearby, I'm not gonna throw the torch on the ground. I'm gonna drop it. 
That way the noise is not as much. Alright. There's a cave over there. That's the cave I was talking about. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Let me get a little move on. Yep, I knew it. I heard you. Oh, you're scared. Oh. Yeah, I saw... It's so funny. I saw a little... Almost what looked like the top of a wolf. And I was like, that can't be a wolf. But then I heard his footsteps, and... Obviously, you can see here, that was indeed a wolf. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep this torch going when I do some sketching out. No way is this going out. Yeah, that was definitely, uh... Scary. But good thing I got the volume on my headphones up. I'm nice and warmed up from last episode anyway. I usually record these episodes sometimes back-to-back. -back. I'd honestly say very rarely I'll do back-to-back, -back, but I was feeling it. I was feeling it. I was totally ready to go for episode 54 here. Get away! Get away! I heard you. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Okay. Well, you're a problem. I gotta say, you are a problem, for sure. Don't mind me if I just steal your reishis, your mushrooms. See, you scared of me the first time. Not scared of me this time. Don't know what's up with that. Probably the random chance of the bearskin coat. Because I know the bearskin coat can... can scare him away. Alright, he's trotting. He's getting a little closer, I don't really like it. So I'm gonna go back here. Stop. Self-control, wolf. Self-control. Might have to kill him, to be honest. I don't want to, but I might have to. Uh, you leave me no choice, sir. You drive a hard bargain. That works, too. But now he's going to be out there. What is he doing? He's thinking about his choices. Look at him. Thinking about life? I understand. Oh, that was a broken arrow. Okay, that's fine. I'd honestly rather have a broken arrow rather than he run away with my arrow. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Wow. You know, first 10 minutes of the episode and we're already getting ourselves into some some trouble here, huh? Kind of like it. Kind of fun. Tear this down. So he'll probably be around. Hopefully not, like, nearby, because I have to do this tower. I'm going to sketch this out. Our fire back at home is for sure going to go out. But that's okay. I don't mind. Alright. Put down a T for proper etiquette. Cool. Nice. Maybe a little water as well. Should have eat a little something before we left, but that's fine. Let's get this arrow torn down. Did craft another one. Fresh brand new arrow. We have a workbench in uh, in Spence's, so that's great. Did he already perish? Was he over there? No way. No way. No way he already left the server. Come on now. Let me see. I'll take that back. And I'm probably going to put a few more on. Yeah, that's fine. No way my man left the server already. Oh my gosh. I think he totally did. He totally did. Are you kidding me? I must have got him pretty good with that shot. I mean, he died so quickly. My gosh. My man left the chat within five minutes. That was... Wild. Okay. Well, I'm not necessarily complaining. Definitely not complaining about that. No way. Um, our water might boil off, but that's okay. Take all this meat. It's free, basically. Awesome. Kind of wish I dropped him right in front of the cave. That would have been very convenient. But, I mean, he 
you can't really get more convenient than that over there. That's pretty good, all things considered. Keep taking these mushrooms, man. I don't really know if I want them all. I'll take them. I'll still take them. How dare I question my reishi wanting. All right, here we go. Nice and warm again. Gonna put a bunch on here. So, we'll get two full pieces on. I think I'll wait a little bit, though. Let's do a preparation. Just one. I gotta go map out that shortwave tower over there while these cook. That would be the good thing to do. And before, you know, before it gets clouded over and foggy to where I can't see. That is crazy. I'm still astonished. Hit him once, went in there, basically tore down an arrow, came out, and he's just laying there. Not really, uh, not mad about it. Just a little shocked. Okay, well, that happened. Let's get over here. This is going to be the shortwave tower. Can I get a location marker for it? Oh, look at all those birch right there. That's nice. There's the shortwave tower. Excellent. All right. Where is... Yeah, the cache is down there. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's where I thought it was. I'm definitely going to take these, though. I think I'm going to swing by and grab the cache only when we're going back. Or only when we're heading into Broken Railroad, rather. That'll probably be the only time I'll swing by and grab it. But we are pretty cold, so we need to kind of act on this here. Let's go get warm from our fire. We'll finish cooking everything. I'm going to try to bring it back to expenses. And then from there, maybe we'll start packing up, getting ready to go. I do want to collect some more firewood, though, because if we ever have to lean back on this place, number one, we can because we have so much food, you know? But we have to match that with the firewood as well. Wouldn't be right to just kind of leave it without any firewood stocked. Wouldn't be a great idea. All right. Um, let me see these wolf pieces, though. Okay, yeah. So somebody in the comments, and I read about this too. Apparently, there was a glitch about level 5 cooking only giving you the same amount of calories for every cooked piece as level 1. So a few, might have been maybe last episode, a few episodes back, we cooked a wolf meat. We cooked wolf meat, and it only gave us 700 calories. And I was like, what the heck? Did they, you know, lower the, the wolf piece sizes? But it does turn out that uh, that is the same amount of calories as level 1 cooking as you'd get for, you know, being level one. So it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. There would be a glitch like that, so. Good to know. Good to know. Glad I, uh, glad I kind of came up with it for myself. But if you, uh, said that in the comments, I thank you. Definitely a great reminder. Can't really fast forward time here too much. Slide that on. I have to... Yeah, that, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. We're not too heavy. That's great. We're going to be able to carry everything back. Making a new bow is definitely a clutch move. For sure. That is something uh, you always want to do when you go into unexplored terrain. We might even have to make another bow before we head into... Uh, what's its name? Bleak Inlet. Yeah, might have to do another bow session. That's okay, though, because I do plan... I think I've said this before. I'm planning on going back to Mystery Lake once we finish doing Broken Railroad. That way we can kind of restock and regather ourselves a little bit. And we'll face the real challenger, which is Bleak Inlet. That's not going to be fun, but it should be fun at the same time. I love Bleak Inlet. I really do. Really, really do. But to be fair, I've never been in there in Interloper. So that's going to be a challenge and a half. I'm ready for it, though. We're just going to go back and make as much arrows as we can, basically. We need to. Go into Bleak Inlet with, like, 20 arrows. It might have to be the thing we do. Because I'm not going to go in there with, like, 5 or 10 arrows. I don't think that's going to be enough. Those Timberwolf packs are going to be pretty, uh... Pretty mean. Mean and lean. 
We will figure that out, though, you know? Thought Hushed River Valley was going to be horrible, but it was actually a great experience. So we'll have to see. I'm hearing a wolf somewhere. I don't really like that. Yeah, this fire is... That we left the fire uh, back at the Spence? No, it's gone. For sure. Just a waste of firewood. That's what that was. Uh, I'm going to drop down here. Just so we can swing by that shed. I'd like to check it. That's another deer. No need to worry. Um, to be a little vigilant. We have one little scent bar. We also have a torch, so that's good. Old Spence Family Homestead. Yep. Good to be here. All right. I think we're fine. Those wolves are going to be at the bunkhouses, I believe. Shouldn't be a reason to worry. All right. Awesome. Very awesome. Drop this here. I don't really like how we're not warm in here, though. That's kind of one thing that makes me want to scoot, you know? Just kind of skedaddle. I don't think we're going to be able to now, though. Look at this. Blizzard coming in. Uh, Do I want to put this out? We are. We do have a ton of firewood. We do. We can just keep this fire running from tonight until uh, until tomorrow morning when we leave. I think we'd be in good shape. Because I don't want to let this torch go out and waste another match. Even though I totally could waste another match and it wouldn't really matter. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Just 2 degrees below freezing. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll just load it with coal. It's fine. Can always grab more coal in the bleak inlet cave, and I think we're gonna on the way out, so. No need to worry. We're fine. Uh let's yeah. Get some coal onto that, for sure. It gives us some time. That's great. How much water do we have? That's a good amount. Let's start organizing this place, because it is somewhat of a a base away from the base, right? So getting everything nice and pretty. Not as pretty as the camp office, because nothing can match that. That is our ultimate stash over there. But just good enough. Just good enough. Eh, I'll just take this. Who cares? Two gallons, whatever. Uh, can I take... I guess that's fine. Sure. Alright, yeah, the torch is what I wanted. So we're going to just focus on breaking things down, I think. Um, these planks can go down as well. Um, same with up here. Maybe we'll find some accelerant behind these boxes. That's always possible. But I think right now, just having the forge going as a warming fire is the right idea. For sure. Alright. Let's break this down. Can honestly just start doing it by hand, though. Oh, hey, I was right. Nice. Love to see that. Okay. Let's just... Yeah, load that up. Nice. We're going to be sleeping through the night, which is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and just break this down by hand. Again, there's no rush. We're just kind of chilling out, trying to burn some time. Uh, this is going to make me wind shaded. Okay, so I don't think the wolves can come in here. Because this is like an invisible barrier for the wolf. It seemed like he was definitely going to charge right into here, but... I don't think that's going to happen. Why are you running? No reason, it seems. Uh, if you stop... Yeah, not going to stop. That's fine. If it stopped close to us, I probably would have uh, tried to down it, but alas, it did not. 23 out here. Not bad. Uh, three hours left on that. I'm going to try to maybe break this box down. Maybe that one, too. Do it by hand. Oh, the weather got nice. Look at that. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Uh, two hours. That's fine. I can break down that. That'll give us some more scrap metal for the, uh, for the what's it called there? The transmitter? Definitely not going to double back to the transmitter now, but in the future. Alright, no other boxes. That's okay though. That is fine. Uh, we're just going to load this thing up all the way. Excellent. 
All right, let's go ahead. Ooh, I could do this too. I'm just gonna, yeah, this is gonna be a maintenance night. We're gonna get all our tools repaired. We're gonna get all the reishis crafted while we're nice and warm. Should be a good time. All right, cool. All right, and that fire's not going anywhere. And just eat all this. All right, let me take all the meat right now and just move it somewhere else. Just relocate it, like right here. That's fine. I don't want it too close to the fire because I like to have breathing room. All right. Drink all that. That's going to make us weigh less too. So we're overweight. I had good margin. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be all that firewood too, you know. All right. First of all, first order of business, I think, is getting these torches torn down. They're going to sit in my inventory for the rest of this episode if I don't, so get them done. All right, two more. 0.66 pounds. They're not light. They're not light, and I think one stick is 0.33, so we're basically just cutting our weight in half by tearing these torches down, which is good. That is very nice. All right, let's go up here. Get as much as this done as we can. Not quite tired yet, but that's good because we don't want to be completely tired. Uh, I'm going to tear this down. Got to be careful I don't tear our only way up, you know? That would not be good at all. Yeah, that would actually be very unfortunate. It'd be doable though, you know? It'd be fine. You can just... Oh, you can't go like this. No way. You can't access the bed like that? Oh, that is actually crazy. Why would they do that? That is crazy. Uh, that deer running doesn't make me the most secure feeling. That's fine. Let's just keep throwing it on until we can't anymore. All right. Can't add any more fuel to this fire right now. Definitely not a common message I get. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to drink up. I think I'm just going to put in, depending on the temperature, only just seven hours, no? Oh, yeah. All right. Here's, uh, here's to waking up alive, I guess, right? Ooh, the aurora. Well, I tell you what. Wouldn't be a bad time to have that transmitter on right about now. We got our plan straight, though. We got our priorities set. Doesn't matter. Very pretty, though. Well, you can see, like, the little shortwave towers lighting up, except for that one. Whoa. That got me. Oh, you're right there. Hmm. Yeah, Aurora Wolves, huh? Not really to be messed with. Not really to be messed with. I'm gonna just sit up here. And we'll wait. I, I knew they'd respawn. I was just kind of checking. Not to be messed with, that's for sure. Alright, we're gonna let him go. And not kind of start anything. Yep. He's gone. That's fine. I just wanted to maybe dump some more wood into this. Nine hours? That should be plenty. That actually should be more than enough now that I'm looking at the time. Okay. Alright. How much food do we have in our stomach? A good amount. Gonna be another four. Someone got scared outside. I think the wolves might be back in town, though. Wow, beautiful morning. Look at this. This little skylight right here. So, oh, and right there. And basically the whole roof. All right. Well, cool. We're still going to have a bunch of time. Yep. Still a ton of time left on that. I'm gonna eat some things. Let's do that. We'll fill up here. 
another small piece. Man, these are kind of small pieces, huh? Yeah, look at this. What is happening right now? All right, well, let's just organize them then, I suppose. Uh, how much is this going to be? 300. Eat that. They go quick. The pizzas go quick. All right, that's another 1,000 calories. Going to be another 1,000. Same with this. All right, that's a full piece still. Good. Another 1,000. Excellent. I don't think I can put it close to that. I'll just put it right there for now. But that's a nice piece, too. I will put you right there. All right, good. So all full pieces left. That is good news. Um, what's not the great news, though, is that, you know, this is kind of all we have left. But we got to get hunting at some point again. But I think we'll move before we have to, so we're okay. I do want to grab this scrap metal, though. I am going to take time to do that. Because that not only gives us four, but that gives us one for the transmitter. So that's great. Ah, I should have dropped that. I should have dropped that somewhere. I'm actually going to put it in here. Just so we can have it. You know, when I go back to Mystery Lake, we will uh, stop by here. And grab everything. We'll take maybe two of these with me. Good. I like that. Put five down. Nice. Doing a little organization before we take off. That's good. I could do... I can't make another arrow, because I don't have an arrow shaft. That's right. Okay. That's fine. I'll go ahead and put that in there. I'll put this in there. Why not? I had another book. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Excellent. So, drink up some water. I guess the possibility exists to maybe start going. You know? I think I am going to heat up some teas, though. And I'm going to make a little more. Because it's quite a ways from here to the next shelter. The next shelter being the maintenance shed in Broken Railroad. I don't want to get these on standby. Okay. And yes, that cache, too. Did not forget about it. Going to be right over here. Oh, there's a green birch sapling over there, too. Totally missed that. We'll get it sometime. All right. Kind of hanging around. Up that. Let me take this back. Shake them one more time. Okay, good. Okay. Six hours. We're not going to be here for six hours. That is for sure. That is for certain. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I can like go over there now, see if I can grab the cash and then come back. Because for all I know, you know, what's in that cash, you know? Maybe it's something worthwhile for coming back. I don't know. All right, I'm going to take this tea and we're just going to go. Yeah, we're going to go over here, try to get this thing. Sprints a little bit. Got a nice jog in. Not sure where those other wolves went, though. I was hearing multiple last night. A hot spot over here, usually. I think we might need a key for this cache. We might need a key. If that's the case, I don't know if I really want to go over there. I don't know. Maybe I should turn back. And we'll just grab it on the way, you know? What's the worst it can be? A raw fish? And we just put a fire there and cook it. Nothing, nothing horrible. I'm gonna grab that piece of birch bark, though. Definitely want to wait. Until the wind calms. That's a definite. I don't want to travel like this when it's like 2 degrees. Negative 10, even worse. Hopefully no snow starts coming in. 
What if it does? Whatever. Figure it out. That away. Alright, warm me up, fire. Drop this again. Put that there. Shake it. Nice. Six hours. Not bad. Do a sleep. A little bit of a sleep. Just so we can wake up fully rested. That would be preferred. Alright. Wind seems to be calming a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, yeah, all these will throw pieces. Let's just eat the wolf. Awesome. That right there. Okay. Yeah, so... Not bad. Man, we downed a wolf? A deer over there, and another wolf over there, and that's how much we have left. And man, it goes quick. Wow. That is something. For sure. I do another hour. Might do another hour. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Let's do some inventory management, though. Because that's important. Um, the wires. Those can go back. Same with this. I can go in there, no problem. Uh, nothing else I really want to put away, though. I want to sharpen that. Probably should. Let's do that before I forget. Sharpen this up. Because if it breaks, we're, uh... We're not screwed if it breaks. Definitely not screwed, but, you know... We're, we're set back a little bit. Not that that would really bother us, because... 500 days is a long time. But not preferred. Let's keep doing this. That should be good, though. Really need this wind to calm down. Or get foggy, you know? Foggy would be awesome right now. It really would be. Go ahead and do it for 21 minutes. Just like that. Make some water. Nice. Anything else to do? Probably not too much. Nah, no, don't see much. Okay. Need another bandage. That is something. Um, okay. I'm probably only going to take maybe three pieces of coal with me, and let's take five. Let's take five. That's fine. Because at least with five, you know, you can use like three, and you still have a little bit of backup. But with three, might not be enough in case we need those outdoor fires to get nice and warm. Yeah, so this gut is not curing. That is not a curing gut, because this place does not cure your guts. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's super unfortunate. Oh well. Still cold. Come on now. Alright. Just a waiting game. That's all it is. We pass a little time. Need this wind to die off soon. Like ASAP. Maybe I'll pass a little time. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought it was foggy. No. Oh, might have to wait. Might have to wait until tomorrow. Which isn't a problem. We have enough firewood and food for that. I just wanted it to clear up. Or not even clear up. Just, like, be foggy. And not snowy. 31. That's only because we're near the fire, though. Yeah, 18. That's cold. Whatever. Alright. Well, nothing, uh... I can put the handheld back. Not gonna do that. Okay. Well, we just sit in here and wait. That's kind of the name of the game here. Sit and wait. That's another hour. If the wind calms... I wouldn't be opposed to moving towards late day, maybe, I just don't know, this looks very blizzardy, like it wants to blizzard, and going into Broken Railroad, 
right after sunset is not a smart idea because if the aurora goes off you know the maintenance shed is our next bet and it's packed with wolves and what do we know about wolves during an aurora and not not fun not great so shouldn't do that shouldn't do that got to pace ourselves know when to move this morning though was definitely not the way to go in terms of moving um, I'm glad we didn't. It was basically just windy all day. That's what it was, you know? You didn't have a break. Did not have a break. And now we're kind of... We're going to pay the price a little bit, I think. I'm going to go back here. I must have gotten this. Yeah, I did. I'm going to grab the reishis back here. Watch for wolves. I don't see any. Yeah, there's a ton of reishis back here. You might as well just grab them. You know, we're just sitting here. Gives us something to do tonight in terms of crafting. I might even just grab the lichen off the tree as well. Just because I'm that bored. Gotta do something to keep productive. Wow, there's a ton. A ton of reishis. Good though. Like that, excellent. Take the sticks too. Sticks are important. We used a lot of them too with the fires, so. Having a few extra in the reserves is not a bad thing. Now in the wind shade, it must be good. Yeah, one down. Oh my gosh, almost 30 degrees. Pretty warm, but we're not going to get this wind to calm down tonight, I don't think. If it goes foggy, oh, it's such a consideration. Do I move if it goes foggy? We totally, we have the ability to sleep outside tonight with how much firewood we have. We get caught in Broken Railroad, maybe, you know, with an Aurora active. That might be a sleep outside type of situation because I'm not going to go into the maintenance shed. We'll see. A blizzard could just kick up now and halt all of our plans anyway. I do want to see what's up there, though. We saw briefly. Let me, uh, yeah, let me go up there and see what's going on. We saw something up there briefly a while ago. Uh, or, not a while ago, but earlier in the episode. It was a bunch of crows up here. You know, they were here for something. Either a carcass or a corpse, you know? Not hearing any footsteps. There should not be a wolf up here. Not hearing anything. Hmm. Oh, yep, there it is. Yeah. That's what I was, uh... That's what I saw the crows for. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, we have that. We have that here. Might as well just take it... Take the hacksaw to it, right? Kind of a secluded area. Far away from everything. Definitely take it all, though. Same with the rose hips. Those are coming with me. Anything else back here? Nope. Nothing too interesting. Uh, there's, there's like there's a little path back here. Is this just secrets? Any secrets back here? Oh, oh my gosh. There is a secret. Oh my gosh. What is this? Hey, now. Hey, how's it going? Oh my gosh. Up here? Really? Out of anywhere? I knew. I, I knew it. That pathway, it looked too suspicious. Are you kidding? You're joking. Oh my gosh, wait. I'm getting in here. What is in here? Is this a fully stocked one? Or is this just like an empty one? And in Prepper's cache. Ooh. Okay. I'm for this. What the heck? What a stroke of luck. Those crows led me to something. So this is an, an empty one. Let's go ahead and enjoy it with the lantern here. It's going to be an empty one. What is this up here? Nothing fancy. No. Yeah, nothing going on. Nothing going on at all, actually. What the heck? There's legit nothing in here. Alright. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Um, super cool, though. Very, very cool. But, you know, I mean, that deer carcass outside is almost more worth it than the prepper cache. Why is the weather nice now? 
I don't understand. But this is cool. Awesome. So now I guess we have that knowledge. There's a prepper cache up here. And it's very close to the, uh, the homestead as well. Interesting. I can't believe that. I thought maybe there would be a little bit of a, a drop-off or something. You know? Maybe like more wall. But nope. It was indeed, uh, indeed a prepper cache. Love to see that. 2.6 pounds. That's pretty good too. All right. Well, we got to get this done quickly, so let's do it. Our fire back at home is probably still going, so, I mean, there's no real reason to rush. This is a nice night. This is a very nice night. The wind is light, but it's variable. It's, it's not bad. I don't know, man. Not sure. I think, uh... I think we could move in this, but I really don't want to move when it's literally almost sunset. That really just seems like a poor choice all around. Man, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's wait till tomorrow. Executive decision. Let's just wait. No reason to rush. We're here for 500 days. We've got so much to, like, so much time to kill. Uh, and it is a little bit gusty as well now, so we'll hang out for a bit. Uh, yeah, that deer right there, that's kind of what I wanted to see. Um, oh my gosh, there's a whole pack right there. Uh, yeah, I'll turn around and mind my own business, yeah. Uh, if we drop them, though, that is more food, and that's something else to do tonight, so maybe I give them the good old, uh, Good old test here with the bow. Warm up a little bit. How much is that? 31. Should be able to down him. All right. Oh, you're stuck on the... On that there. All right. Hands are sweaty. Knees weak. Let's do it. Oh, what a headshot. That wasn't even fair, was it? Oh, my gosh. Nine pounds, too. Oh, we got a nice stash going on here. This is nice. You just keep door dashing me food. I, I don't mind, you know. I'm all you want. All good with me. Let's warm up a little bit. This is awesome. I'm all for it. Uh, these are all hot, too. Very nice. And two hours left on the fire. That's fine. Go ahead and eat that. That's a tiny piece. Drop that. Let's make some more water. Maybe I'll do 21 minutes. That's fine. Really 42 minutes then. All right. Well, time to harvest out this one then. 26. Let's do it. Oh, what a nice night though. What a nice night. I should have moved. But then again, I don't know if an Aurora's tonight. So moving would have probably very... Or ended pretty badly for us if we did. So I'm not upset. I think we, we did the right thing. You know? Did the right thing. And there's just no rush. I keep emphasizing it. But it's true. There's no rush to get to Broken Railroad. Broken Railroad is always going to be there. But this food is not, so we do have to kind of think about that, though. We do have to think about it. Oh, look at this. Such beautiful weather. I, you know... It's fine. It's fine. We'll get our chance tomorrow. We'll get our chance. And if not tomorrow, then the next day. You know, we have enough firewood. We can hang around for a little bit. Um, do have to be a little careful, though, because we do not want to be caught out here without firewood. So that's a thing. Uh, might even go maybe harvest this. This branch over here. Let's do that. Let's harvest this limb. Not only does it give us something to do, but it gives us more firewood. And at the end of the day, that is... I know what I want. I'm hearing, like, extra steps besides mine. I don't think there's a wolf here, but... Could be mistaken. Wow, it got dark. Jeez. Who turned out the lights? My gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it is nighttime after all. I did just spend an hour chopping a piece of firewood. 
right after sunset, so I guess that's what happens. Uh, I totally forgot we had that on the fire. I'm not gonna lie. But that's fine. We're all good. It worked out in the end. That's all that matters. Uh, let's dump third. Yeah, let's just... That's fine. That is okay. I'm also going to probably just put the tinder under here because I don't really need it right now. Actually, I could maybe just do something like this. Make like a little line. Kind of cool. I saw Xacnafine's uh, video on the wolf barrier in Ash Canyon. Kind of looks cool. Just doing that. Cool. We'll just do that. That looks fine. 48 minutes, 32 and throw this one on. I'm hearing footsteps that aren't mine. I don't know what's going on. I don't think anything's out there, but paranoia will do wonders. Alright, bunch of more meat here. That's awesome. Oh, that deer up there we already cooked. Watch the fire. 27 minutes. Yeah, I gotta watch that. I'll put some more on. Eat, let's eat that. Yeah. Okay. 37. Alright, time to load it up with reclaimed wood. Put most of it on, maybe. Not a ton. Eight hours is, is about right. That's sufficient. Alright. 33 minutes, huh? Sleep an hour? We are decent energy, too. So, you know... <laughs> We don't really need to prioritize sleeping that much. But still should check on the fire just once in a while. Oh, uh, that's good. I'm going to take that back as well. Okay, eight hours. Nice. And I'll put this here. That's a solid stash. I would love to have a little more than this, but... You can only get so greedy for so long. Alright. Excellent. Everything is in order. Uh, what do we have on the fire? Can I see that from here? Come on. Eight hours and five minutes. Well, I'm not going to put in eight hours, but I'll probably maybe put in six for the time being. That should bring us to just before morning, I think. I didn't really look at the clock too well before I went to bed. We'll be fine regardless, though. Oh, yeah, just for sunrise. 126 days, guys. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Just out of curiosity, I can't map out right now. No, I cannot. Alright, I'm not going to put any more firewood on this. Because I really do want to take the charcoal after. After it drains. Let's check what we mapped out so far. This really doesn't look too filled out, does it? No, it doesn't. And I'm really curious about the memento cache. I might need a key to get in there. I might need a key. That's going to... Not mess things up, but it might be at the hunting blind over here. There's a hunting blind near a bear spawn, like right, not near Hat Creek, right below like Marsh Ridge. That's the hint we got. Yeah. I don't know. We will see, though. We will see. How's these missions going? Haven't checked on these in a while. Repair transmitter and forlorn musk egg. We'll get to it eventually. Pleasant Valley. Yeah, I gotta do that, too. All good. Figure it out as we go. Five hours left on that. Good. Probably eat a few pieces of wolf meat. By a few, I mean just one. Any preparing? Prepare that. I'll probably just leave one, maybe two pieces here. But it is always nice to have more than you need. Just in case that thing you never thought happened, happens, you know? Keep repairing this. Or not repairing. Repairing. Nice. Put these away. All of them. And then, I could probably leave a lot of my reishis, too. That would make us a lot lighter, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. I'm gonna take a chance and just put that away. Just gonna take a chance. Nah, I don't feel good. I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel good about that. I'll take two. I'll deal with it. Three hours on that. Do two. Put it away. 
when we wake up, we should be good to go. I mean, it's nice weather to move. Definitely is. That's, that's solid weather. Let me take a stroll outside. Mm, 12 degrees. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna deem this travelable. Travelable. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm gonna deem it safe to, to move. Maybe we wait a little bit, but we know what waiting does. Gets us in a lot of trouble. Let's prepare the inventory nonetheless. Just in case we want to get a move on. Uh, that's another reclaimed wood. I'm going to drop all of them here, though. Alright, ptarmigan down. Don't really need ptarmigan down right now. I really don't. I could probably leave it behind. Or what I could do is maybe make... Well, how many cloth? Two cloth? Don't I need four for improvised insulation? I do. Ugh. really hate to see that. All right, how many ptarmigan down do I need for that, though? Five? I could... I could drop the rest in here. Well, I could drop 11 in here. Keep five on me. Might do that. I'll be back for this anyway. You know? We'll be back for it. Three hours. That's a good amount of torches that can be left behind. Drop four of these. I don't know. I feel like we should go. I really do. Alright, if my gut says go, we're gonna go. Gotta trust yourself sometimes. Just sometimes, you know. Take a few of these. We will swing by the cache. We'll swing by that. See what happens. If it's locked, then I, we'll come back and figure it out another time. Gotta check how many torches we have. A fantastic amount. Probably too much. But I'll grab like one more after this here. Okay, great. And I'm gonna take this. Drop the small piece here. Alright, and wait a minute. Yeah, let's not forget these. How about that? I scare myself sometimes. Okay. Good to go. Leave that behind. Excellent. Full stomach. Full confidence. We're good to go. Beautiful sunrise. Beautiful sunrise indeed. Alright, so the threat that we have ahead of us is going to be the bear. He's going to be around. No doubt about it. Got to be ready though. I might pull that distress pistol out faster than you can blink if he is around the corner up there. We'll go towards it anyway, though. If it doesn't, we get across this. Come on. Some cattails here. I'm going to stop. If it needs a key, like I said, deal with it another time. We'll go explore another place. But we should be okay. Now, this is a little bit of a burn as well. Just because we're not... We don't have the transmitter on, so we're not going to be able to find anything in Broken Railroad if there's an Aurora. Which kind of sucks. It kind of does. I got to admit. I'm a little bummed about that. But I really do think turning the transmitter on early in the morning, then running back to Bleak Inlet to try to find the bunker, might be the move. It might just be the move. Auroras are semi-common in Bleak Inlet, though, so I shouldn't really be too concerned about the auroras. But I would just like to do it once and have, like, a guaranteed time that the aurora will be on. There's a wolf over there. Oh, where's this bear gonna be, man? I hate this. It's going to be, like, towards towards here. Ah. Oh, we guys. Crampons will be the move here. Go ahead and drink one of these. I never drink these teas anyway now. So I might as well just do it. Alright. Oh. 
There he is. Look at that. Oh, no. That's the bear. Oh, crap. I'm gonna go this way. He's sleeping, though. He's resting. He's catching Z's. Alright, let's light this. Wind's kicking up. Look at him. Just resting. Passed out. He had a long night. Just let him be. He's not bothering me. I won't bother him. We're all good. We're buddies. Trying to find this memento cache, though. Before he wakes up. I'm tempted to maybe sketch out right here just to see if we can find the box. I have a feeling the box is not down here. Let's use our landmarks. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of that. It's probably going to be in here somewhere, no? Or maybe on top. It might definitely be on top. Yeah, because this little arch right here is going to be, I think, this thing. Yeah. All right, let's just do this quickly. I don't care. Come on. Or the bear wakes up. Let's get up here. I'm going to drink another tea, because I can. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, my gosh. Fine. Game got me. I, you know? Waited too long. It's gonna be up here somewhere, no? Gotta be over here. Come on, where are you at? It's gotta be like right here, no? Careful of the bear, though. I don't want to wake this guy up. That would be such a bad day if I did. All right, I'm going to use the 30% torch. What I'm going to do, we're going to drop it real quick. Do this. It's it's like right over here. I was right. It's over here somewhere. Is it going to be? No. Don't tell me that. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. It's not going to be the bear cave. Is it? No way. You can't tell me that's going to be in the bear cave. No, <laughs> no. Hey, no, no, listen. That's in the bear cave? That's a lost cause. I don't know. I, why is it always tough to find these things? I probably see it on the map. But I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. If the bear, like, moves, I could try to get in there. But I'm just going to say, let's just press on. I don't care for it right now. What's the best that, what, like, what's the best thing that can be in there? Not too much. Not too much. But I'll just keep moving on. We know where the bear is, at least, right? So, he's not in our way. Uh, we are going to get pretty cold here soon. I literally might start a fire over here. Um, update. I probably will start a fire over here. We just gotta get it done. Yeah, this wind is brutal. We're already getting cold. Okay. Alright. Yeah, uh, it's just gonna be in here. Looks like we already started a fire here at one point. That's kind of cool. Comes full circle. We gotta go back, you know? Gotta go back. Let's, uh, let's get a stick on. Tempted to sleep an hour. I honestly might warm up a little quicker. Get some of our energy back, because we did burn a good bit with this whole endeavor. Alright. I'm going to put this here for now. 
Man, it, it's just like that one time in the episode, you know? What episode was it? I don't even remember. It had to be prior to episode 30. But we were right here, taking a nap next to a fire, right? I remember. Alright, let's uh, try to sketch out this. That's not going to give us it. I don't know why I thought it would. Alright. Let me sketch this place out really quick. We have to. Alright, there we go. And let's get back to the fire. Let's gather ourselves again. That's a wolf. I was like, who's that? Uh, you're gonna figure out... You're not... You're not... You're not... Um, this... Are you? You are 100% gonna come this way. I cannot stand you. You understand that? Oh... oh, 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 oh. I should have just stayed at my fire. What am I doing over here? Oh, 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 oh. Where did he go? Did he just... He just went into the shadow realm. What the heck? D d okay. Did I have my arrow back? No? Are you serious? My man just dipped right into the shadow realm once I killed him. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so uptight about that. Are you serious? Nah, that is craziness. Oh my gosh. I've never felt so ripped off in my life. That is worse than $4 a gallon gas right there. Are you kidding? And I lose my arrow too. No, come on, man. No. Well, you can see his footprints, right? They were right there. And then gone. Oh, come on now. Don't, don't tell me this. Oh my gosh. I think we lost it, guys. I think we lost it. Isn't that just sad? That is so unfortunate. I honestly, I think I might have done the right thing by going over there because he wouldn't see my fire until he came over this way. And by then it might have been too late. All right. I'm going to sleep an hour. Warm up nicely. Um, and we're going to have a save point here. So I think I'm going to end it here. I need to think about what just happened in terms of that shadow wolf. What the heck, man? Are you like, you got to be kidding me. Like, he's gone. He's actually gone. Can you believe that? Because I can't. He's gone. He's actually gone. Into the Shadow Realm he went. Wow. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. Well, I'm going to sit here and think about what happened. Or at least I'll think about what happened off camera. Um, but I will end it here because we have a safe point. Next time, we're going to go into Broken Railroad. Um, do all we can to survey that area out. Let me just check before we go. And uh, see if we got all of the muskeg, because we should have by now. Yeah, here we go. Forlorn muskeg, Hushed River Valley, Mountain Town, and Mystery Lake done. So that's four regions right there taken care of. Good. Awesome. Now, Broken Railroad, there's only eight places in Broken Railroad, so... Shouldn't be bad at all. And we're about to knock out one anyway. All right. Yeah, that's great. Um... Uh, sorry, I'm just in disbelief about that sh that wolf. That's that's crap right there. That is crap. But anyway, enough complaining. <laughs> if you guys made it this far, as always, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you all in the next episode.